Using shapes on Canva can produce amazing looking logos. Join me as we create this animal logo using shapes on Canva. Canva.com and then select a blank canvas of logo and start designing. On your canvas, you're going to go to lines and shapes to start your design. So you're going to scroll down and look for this shape that's called Helm. And you click on it once and you size it and make it a nice big size. You center it, then you duplicate the shape by clicking on the plus duplicate and you change the second shape to a white. And you will slide it slowly and make it a little bit smaller than the darker shape below. And you're creating your horns for this one. Then you're going to scroll to your shapes and you're going to find the arch down. You click on it once so that you create the face of the animal you want to create for your logo. So slide it so that there's, there's no white line displaying and center that like that. And that takes care of our design number one. Then you're going to add a second page and you're going to scroll and find your triangle. Add on it once and size it to make it a big size and duplicate the shape make the second shape white we're creating gaps with our whites then you're going to size it on top of the darker color shape and you create a triangle line that looks like that then you're going to add a square or a rectangle size it on your triangle and then move it so that it creates a space and change the color make white last thing you would do on our triangle because we want our cow or our animals shape to display at the bottom just gonna copy our arch down and we paste it on the second shape we move it to the middle we change color make that white and then align that I'm going to change the color of my shape and make it a nice bright gold color to just make the design pop and I'm going to do exactly the same with the animal. Once I've changed my color, I'm going to download my shapes as a transparent background. If you don't have a transparent background, you're more than welcome to trial it for 30 days. Find a solution, my evolution. A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this. And I'm going to do exactly the same for page one. Nice. Then I'm going to go to my third canvas and I'm going to add my shapes. So I will start with the triangle and add it on the, it's going to have the white around it. So first thing that you're going to do, you're going to crop the extra spaces and you're going to click on done. And you're going to click on edit image and you're going to remove the background. If you don't have the remove background, then you can trial it for 30 days or you can use remove.bg then you're going to click on apply and we're happy with our first shape then we're going to apply our second shape we're going to crop the extra spaces and then edit image we're going to align our logo and we're going to put it at the center when we see the purple we know that it's aligned then we're going to position our animal on our triangle. Then we're going to press T for text and add the name of our company. We're going to use Varela Round. Then we're going to type the name of the company and we add the bottom section. And we're going to download the design as a transparent background. And that's our page number three. We're going to go www.photop.com and we're going to click on PSD templates. You can use a PSD mockup that you've downloaded or you could use one that's already added on Photop. You're going to click on mockups and you're going to scroll until you find the one that you want to use. After the mockup has been loaded, you're going to double click where it says your logo here and you wait for it to load. Then you would hide the text by pressing the I. And then you're going to click and drag your logo to your canvas. You're going to size it and align it. And then you're going to click where it says file, save as smart object and wait. And once it has been loaded, 
you're going to click on the mock-up first tab for the mock-up to change it to 3d watch this next video that's going to teach you different kinds of making logos using shapes on canva i will see you on the next video